Do you see videos of NHL players like Patrick Kane and envy their stick handling abilities? You try and try to develop those quick and efficient hands with no avail? Well, the good news is that there is a trick that will greatly increase the speed and efficiency of your abilities, which is the topic in today's video. Let's get started. The art of holding the hockey stick is often lost after your youth hockey days. This meaning that you are just not simply reminded of exactly how to hold a hockey stick. And you might have developed bad habits leading to poor puck control. Without holding the stick correctly, you may be losing out on better puck control. Additionally, bad habits in holding the hockey stick may develop over time. And if a coach does not spot them and nip them in the bud quickly, then these may be detrimental to your game. The good news is that the solution is not only something that you can practice on the ice, but is something that you can practice in your garage, in your driveway, pretty much anywhere. Please leave a comment below letting me know where you like to train off the ice. Now, the trick to improving puck control starts with the top hand of the stick. Your top hand on your stick is your control hand and should be treated as such. This means that your top hand is the primary driver in all actions with the hockey stick. While the bottom hand does serve a purpose, make sure you keep a slightly looser grip on your bottom hand to allow the stick to move more freely, remembering that the top hand is the primary driver, not the bottom hand. The benefits of using your top hand as the primary driver is that it allows for quick and efficient stick handling. See the video to my right of how stick handling is much more smooth when compared to the video on my left where both hands are being used to try and control the stick. As you can see from the video on the left, the stick handling is much more choppy and inefficient where the video on the right shows much more smooth and efficient stick handling. Please note for the video on the right has a loose grip on the bottom hand while the top hand is the primary driver. Using the top hand is what most NHLers do. If you see players like Sidney Crosby or Patrick Kane stick handling, you will notice that they are using their top hand as the primary driver where the bottom hand is more for support. This is very evident for whenever they are playing with one hand off of the stick. They are still able to control the puck efficiently and effectively with one hand on their stick because it really only takes that one hand to control the stick. Where again, the bottom hand is simply there for added support. So, the big takeaway here is that your top hand should be the primary driver of the hockey stick. This will improve the efficiency and precision of your stick handling abilities. But, there's always room to continue to develop your top hand skills, even if you already use your top hand as the primary driver of the hockey stick. To further improve your top hand skills, I would begin with a tennis ball on dry land or a golf ball. The reason why I prefer a tennis ball is that it does have that bounciness to it. This, in my opinion, helps just work on your precision and efficiency of your stick handling as it does get quite frustrating to stick handle the tennis ball. As stated, a golf ball also works, but I just simply prefer to use a tennis ball. For the training, I would start with the basic five point stick handling drill. This is where you take a stance with feet shoulder width apart and begin stick handling throughout the five different zones around your body. To show you exactly where the five zones are, let us take a look at the player. We can draw a box around the player then split up the box into six zones. The middle bottom zone is the zone that you stand in, which we can call zone zero, which is not a zone to practice in. The remaining zones are as follows. One is the strong side beside you. Two is the diagonal to your strong side. Three is right in front of you. Four is offhand diagonal, where offhand means your weak side. And five is your offhand beside you. Typically, this drill is done with two hands on the stick, but we will start with only one hand on the stick to help develop the coordination of the top hand on the hockey stick. With this drill, you should move through the zones with one hand on the stick. For the actual execution of the training, I recommend going from one to five, then reverse it from five to one. Focus on keeping the ball steady while stick handling. In addition, focus on torso position. 
especially on the offhand positions. It is more apparent when using one hand that you need to twist your body into different positions to continue to stick handling between the different zones. Lastly, try to keep your head up. Keeping your head up is an essential part of the game and it is important to practice this while stick handling. Do this a few times to build up that top hand control. Next, you can begin to mix it up, such as going from zone two to zone one or zone four to zone one. Now, after working on single hand puck control, you should do the same drill with both hands. This time, make sure to focus on keeping your bottom hand loose while you stick handle. The first time you do this, you should see that your puck control is much quicker and controlled. Sorry to interrupt. Every 10,000 subscribers to this channel, we will be providing one full set of hockey gear. That means helmet, skates, gloves, stick, everything. Everything you need to play hockey. To enter, all you have to do is like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment. You may also go to other videos and comment on those ones as every comment you leave will enter you in to winning this full set of gear once we hit that 10,000 mark. And additionally, once we hit 20,000, 30,000, every 10,000 subscribers. Another drill to improve top hand control is to do the Patrick Kane warm up drill. This is a drill that you can do at home or at the rink. First, lay out a bunch of pucks or include some objects if you do not have enough pucks for this drill. Then, take your tennis ball, wooden ball, puck, or whatever you are using and begin weaving in and out of the pucks and objects. The entire time, you should be focusing on a few things. Number one, drive with your top hand. Two, keep your bottom hand loose. It is okay to be hitting the other pucks or objects, but with keeping the top hand and bottom hand dynamic, you will realize that you can stick handle much faster and more efficient than before. Using your top hand should be incorporated into your game as soon as possible. I understand that ice time is typically limited to just games and practices, so I would recommend practicing with these drills a few hours before each game or practice to help develop that mind-muscle connection. Now, if you have time during warm-ups, I would recommend trying the Patrick Kane warm-up if the pucks were just dumped out onto the ice. However, you might not have that ability to do that warm-up. So, I would recommend doing one or two iterations of the five-point stick handling drill, starting with only one hand on the stick and then moving to two remembering to keep the bottom hand loose. Using the top hand as the primary driver of the stick, in my opinion, is something that not everyone knows about or knows to practice. Using the top hand is a huge game changer for those who don't already use their top hand as the primary driver of the hockey stick. It is also beneficial for those who know that it's the primary driver to practice these skills. Practicing these drills will increase the efficiency and precision of your stick handling abilities. I find that the hardest part is finding time on the ice to incorporate this into your game. So I would say that you should practice this a few hours before each game or practice to try and develop that mind-body connection of using your top hand as the primary driver. Keep practicing and let me know if you saw any improvement after practicing with these drills a few times. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to be alerted of whenever we drop new content. Until next time.